So I have no idea what is all over my fridge, but it's disgusting. But now I'm gonna put these eye patches on, which honestly, I have to say, they're like too wet. The last time, they were sliding down my face a lot. Also, I'm literally gonna have the world's most unhealthiest breakfast today. Instead, I'm having two slices of Domino's pizza and three mozzarella sticks. It keeps sliding. These are so annoying. But yeah, I'm having two slices of Domino's pizza and three mozzarella sticks from a random pizzeria around my house. I have a lip consultation today. I got my lips done two years ago and then I got them done again last year and I wasn't really that happy with the results. I tried to explain to the girl like I, you know, I want them fuller. I feel like they weren't like super full last time like I wanted them and you know, she basically just kept pushing like another syringe and I just want to get a second opinion because I don't feel like they put a whole I'm gonna put you in my cabinet here I don't feel like they gave me a whole syringe to begin with I could be wrong I don't do this for a living but I just want to get a second opinion or at least have her tell me straight up like you need a second syringe if you want them that big the thing is I don't even want them big I just want them to look like I have lip filler I feel like you can't tell. I mean, it's been a whole year already. They're probably dissolved, but I feel like she just put a shit ton of filler on my Cupid's bow. And now this space here has the filler absolutely migrated. Definitely not what I wanted. But this place is nice. You get a free first consultation, which as you should everywhere, it should always be free. I'm going to ask her if I should get my lips dissolved before I put more filler in. Obviously, she'll know more than I do. I truly just don't know what to watch anymore. I have been watching YouTube videos. I've been watching stuff on Discovery Plus, like TLC shows, the new 90 Day Fiancés and stuff like that, but I'm kind of over it all. I'm kind of over the 90 Day Fiancé. I need something new. I watched a lot of the love shows, like Love is Blind, Married at First Sight. I've watched all of those. Not every single season of all the shows, but I'm kind of like just over the concept. So I also really have to leave soon. So I have to take these gel patches off in like 10 minutes and then start getting ready to leave for my lip consultation I just don't know what they're gonna tell me today but yeah I guess I'll put the Kardashians on for now but other than that I also watched the real L word which is a reality version basically of L word the show and I never finished L word but I pretty much know what happens and I do that with like every show I never finish them all right so I'm gonna get ready to go to this appointment but I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the nail salon today because I can't go Sunday because I'm, unless I go really early, but I don't know. I might be going to the beach with my girlfriend and my cousin and her husband and her baby and everything. And I don't want to miss out. So like if they want to go early, I don't want to be like, oh, awkward. I'm like at an appointment. So I'm using the shade light, even though I should technically use the shade medium with my self tan as fresh it is, as fresh as it is. But I'm just, I don't have it right now. I lost it. I think I went to a wedding last September, a whole year ago. And I think I lost it in the hotel room because I literally couldn't find it after that day. And I know I packed it, so, and I literally used it. So I definitely lost it in the hotel. I remember one time I went to get a facial. I think it was the first time I ever got a facial. It was at Sojo Spa in Edgewater, New Jersey. And the lady was telling me I had sun damage on my skin. Like not a lot, but she was like, you have some sun damage, you have some sunspots, whatever. And I was just like, I feel like I've never really just like laid in the sun like that. But ever since then, and I was only like 21 at the time. So I was like, um, I already have sun damage at 21. Like I don't even, I never went in a tanning bed to this day. Never been in one. I never just like sit in the sun like that with my face out. I always get too hot anyway and start thinking that I'm going to burn anyway. I don't know. I just don't know how I already had sun damage, but... Obviously, I, I don't think she was lying. I mean, I don't, she might have just been trying to sell a product. I actually think she was trying to sell me some things, but who knows? I've been really loving my makeup routine recently. This brush is so dirty. My makeup brushes for my kit, I wash after every application. So don't get that twisted. Don't try to say, oh, she's a makeup artist and doesn't wash her brushes. No, I don't wash my own brushes because I'm lazy. But as a professional, I wash those brushes that are completely separate from my own makeup kit. I wash those after every application. I've also just been putting a shit ton of setting spray. I mean, setting powder, and I need to put setting spray today. 
I don't want to put anything on my lips because they're going to be obviously looking at my lips and I want them to see what they look like so I don't want to line them or put lipstick that really would just defeat the purpose. All right, so a lot has changed since I saw you guys a couple of hours ago. I got a lip flip at my lip consultation because they said that's probably my best bet for now. And if I like just the lip flip, that's fine. I can just do that. And if I want lip filler on top of it, I can make that appointment after two weeks or so. And yeah, so I have a lip flip. Um, you're not going to be able to see it right now. And I don't want to pull it up, but it's basically going to look like almost like that I guess I don't know like paralyzes the muscle here I've never gotten Botox before so I was nervous my mom's like you're gonna get botched I'm like stop I'm not I went and got the lip flip I got my nails and my toes done same color for 4th of July it's like orangey red almost kind of it's really pretty I love it I went to Target and I got two books I was looking for the house made didn't have it so I got the guest list by Lucy Foley and meet me at the lake by Carly or what's her last name? The sticker's covering it. I'm very excited to read both of those. I think I'm gonna probably start the guest list because I think it says you'd kill to be on it. Mmm, that sounds like a thriller, love it. I got dairy-free fish food ice cream. If you don't know what it is, it's um, marshmallow, caramel, and fudge fish. But I got the dairy-free one. I picked it up by accident, but then I was like, I wanna try the dairy-free one. I don't think I did in this flavor yet. And then I got these veggie buffalo wings and these plant-based meatballs these meatballs i've had a ton i don't remember if i've had these or not i actually didn't realize that they're buffalo wings there were buffalo wings called fruffalo wings and they were like fake buffalo wings and they were so good i used to get them all the time so i'm excited to try those and then i got spanakopita which i love i'm gonna make this now because i'm starving i got some avocados for toast tomorrow they didn't have sourdough bread but i just got um it's called sliced Tuscan bread. I mean, it feels nice and hard. I could probably just put it in the toaster oven, put some butter, and then do my avocado toast tomorrow. Surprise! I got a cat with my girlfriend. Um, long story short, her dad's cats had kittens, and now one of the kittens is mine and my girlfriend's. So I got her a little lamb chop toy because my dog, Lammy, passed away last year, and he had a lamb chop toy. Um, it was his and my other dogs. My other dog passed away in 2021, which is, no, 2020, which is fucking crazy. And then this I'm very excited about because I got this bikini, and this is actually an extra large, but it looks like it's going to fit perfect. I get larges in everything now just because I'm 5'2 and like 160 pounds, so I'm pretty much a large or extra large in everything now. But I'm hoping that the extra large is just, it's not snug, it like just fits, so it doesn't hug right here. Anyway, I got this bikini top that goes with it. This was a large. It actually said medium on the hanger, and it's actually large, so it was perfect for me. Now I'm going to make my spanakopita and answer my girlfriend's call because she's calling. Good morning, guys. The next day. Look at how cute this cup is. My mom gets, she's like obsessed with pineapples. No, not those kind of pineapples. And so quickly, I'm going to make my overnight oats. What I do is I put regular rolled oats, old-fashioned. Oh, these are whole grain oats. That's all right. That's good for you anyway. And I think I'm going to make the oat bars too, but I might make that later. Some cocoa powder because I love anything chocolate. I used to use a chocolate protein powder, but this is all I have is the Vital Proteins powder. I need some protein, and this has collagen and everything in it too, which is great for you. And then I put chia seeds. I learned a fun fact about chia seeds. You can't just like eat them normally without having them soak in something first. And if you don't do it that way, apparently they'll like expand in your stomach with your, obviously your stomach liquids and all of that. By the way, I just put silk almond milk yogurt, and now I'm filling it up with oat milk. I also wanted to tell you guys I started the book, The Guest List. I'm only on chapter, it doesn't say the chapter numbers, but I'm on page 53. I only read 50, read 50 pages yesterday because I was tired. I'm really wanting to get through most of the book today, if not all. 
I have a lash lift and tint appointment at 2.45. It's 12.35 right now. So I can definitely read some of this, eat my breakfast, and right now I'm watching Samantha Nicole's new 7 a.m. morning routine. And also for my lip flip, I feel like it kind of looks the same as yesterday, but she said it'll take about two weeks for it to fully kick in, especially the first time. But it'll just look like more you know like up so it'll give the illusion that my upper lip looks bigger but the last woman that did my lips didn't explain any of that to me at all and i just really appreciate um this woman that i'm going to now explaining everything to me because i don't know anything about this she also explained that they could have used a softer filler the last two years because she looked at me yesterday and was like it doesn't even look like you had your lips done ever and she was like she was like obviously no offense but like I'm kind of looking at you like it's a blank canvas, like you've never done it before. And I'm like, exactly, that's my whole problem. And a softer filler that they used, so it wasn't so plump, because I did want it to look more on the natural side, but I wanted, I still wanted it to look like I got my lips done, but not over the top, like some people do, and some people prefer that. And I feel like on my lips, it would look kind of weird. I don't know if it would really look right on me if I went like over the top, so. So I just remembered, I forgot to show you guys, my package from Lunar Beauty that I got yesterday. Packaging is so cute, it has LB on it. I got a blush palette, so pretty. Full Fantasy Blush Cheek Palette. How beautiful, and there's two highlight shades. This, this blush is so popular right now, and then these are good for any skin tone, I love it. Podcast is called Fool Coverage, so if they ever come out with like a foundation or a concealer it can be called a full coverage concealer these are the shades they're so pretty and shades that i literally use all the time in my makeup kit a little pop of blue there a little pink iridescent sparkles a lighter highlight shade a couple of browns purples black i mean seriously this is the perfect palette for anybody especially makeup artists so I just laid everything out that I'm going to bring to my girlfriend's house. So all I'm bringing for her pool is this cover-up and a hat. I do have three bathing suits, but I think I might just leave one there anyway just to have one there. This is a little blanket. It's not like a towel. It's kind of, it is a towel, but it's basically for the beach, but I use it for the pool too. It doesn't really matter. And like hair ties and sunscreen and stuff like that. So that's what's in here. And then I have... It's just some sleep clothes, shorts, two tank tops, um, some socks, some higher socks with, um, that I wear with my Vans, and some low socks. Because if we see fireworks, I'm definitely going to want to put like socks and shoes on and not have grass all up in my feet. I feel like bugs are always crawling on me and I hate that. But this is from Wild Fable from Target. This is a bodysuit. And I'm bringing this. And I'm bringing little nipple uh, covers just in case because I don't want to wear a bra with this because you can't really wear a bra with it. I'll probably wear this on 4th of July with like denim shorts um, and maybe like a kimono or something. I don't know. I don't have to wear like red, white, and blue. I mean, this is technically white and blue, but whatever. And then I'm also just going to bring this black tank top just in case I want to wear that instead of the bodysuit or something. I'm just going to bring this comfy little set. Maybe I'll even wear this to see fireworks with like a white tank top, this, and... This is so comfortable, the sweatshirt. I can only imagine the shorts are super comfortable too. I have this awesome bag from Amazon. Now it says my camera battery is dying when it literally just charged it all day yesterday. Um, I'm gonna bring my Vans and probably just these slides. I wear these slides all the time, so I'll probably just wear those. I'm excited. Now I have this and this. It always looks like I'm going to visit my girlfriend for a week, but no, it's two days. If you have a mid-distance relationship or and ever had, a mid-distance relationship, you understand the struggle. So since my battery died, I didn't get a chance to film me filling out my calendar, but I did do that for July. And then I went to go get my lashes lifted and tinted. And honestly, I feel like this is the last time I'm going to this place because I don't see a difference. I had, I literally just took the curl, the lash curler to even make it look like this and it's still not up as much as it usually is the first time i got my lashes done there they were beautiful and everything i ever wanted and like every other lash set i've ever well not set every other lash lift and tint that i've ever gotten guys they're literally usually like 
like up like that and like black I don't know they just I guess can't get it right at this place which is crazy because I'm pretty sure this is the same lady that fixed my lashes last time so I thought she was gonna do an amazing job so but the last time I went I went to a specialist quote-unquote and she literally didn't do anything so um I guess I just can't expect a lot from this place maybe they're not trained right or maybe they just don't want you to get them lifted like that because then you won't come back for a while but I am not going to come back for a while regardless and if I do come back it's going to be to fix them and it's going to be for free so they're not making more money I definitely feel a tiny bit of my lip flip working a little bit it definitely feels a little bit kind of like going back a little bit I'm very excited for the result I will let you guys know how they're looking I hope they're looking good and um yeah I guess I'm closing out this video Thank you guys for watching. I'm still not sure what I'm going to title this video, but you'll obviously see it before you click on it. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.